Dude's happy hump day. So today has been a long day. I need a nap. I'm not even going to lie. Five o'clock and I am ready for bed. So we're going to jump into what this is all about. First, I will say that um, this morning I went to the gym, did very hard, heavy things, tired from that, then went and had brunch, had a couple of mimosas, tired from that, then did a live stream on Squirrel Tribe itself, ran my mouth for an hour, tired from that. So I'm sleepy right now, so bear with me here. Um, I will like to say thank you for showing up on a random live stream. We don't normally do these on Wednesdays at 5 p.m., so thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you immensely. Ignore the really loud ice behind me also. So a couple things I want to talk about. This is going to be YouTube-related, YouTube-based, just FYI. So for those of you, I had a couple people email me last night, leave comments. My mom sent a text last night that YouTube was pretty much doing really stupid things. Um, my mom sent a text last night. I, I told her we we're going to bed, whatever else. And she sent a text saying she tried to like Kevin's video. You know, y'all know the hubby, Kevin247 on YouTube, tried to like his video and some weird error message came back, said something along the lines of, um, what'd she say? It said resource has been exhausted e.g. check quota. No clue what that meant, right? Then I had an email from a subscriber, Miss Jackson sent me an email. She said, hey, I've literally been unsubscribed from like all different channels today and it won't let me resubscribe. I don't know what's going on. And it turns out YouTube was having one of its fits yesterday and it was unsubscribing people from channels. It wasn't letting people like videos. It wasn't sending videos out. It wasn't letting you really watch videos, comments on videos, all kinds of crap. And this is happening very, very often. You will see more and more YouTubers coming on here going, what the crap is going on? And I don't know if it's something from the top that's going on with Neil Moen. He's like the, the head guy over YouTube right now. I don't know if it's something that he's doing, changes he's making, and things are getting wonky in the works on the way, or if there's people trying to hack in to YouTube, you know, through Google or Alphabet, which is Google's parent company, then it's Google, which is then owned by, uh, YouTube is owned by Google, and there's this whole slew of people in it. I don't know if it's something along those lines. All I know is that every single time something goes wrong, not only does it affect the creator, it affects you guys immensely as well because confusion pisses people off. So people keep commenting, I'm not getting notifications for videos. I keep getting unsubscribed, all this other stuff. And then they get mad at the creators and then they're like, I'm just going away because obviously, you know, my comments aren't going through. Are you deleting them? Do you not want me saying things? Am I shadow banned? Am I being hidden? And then they get pissed off at the creators and they leave. Y'all, I can tell you nine times out of 10, it's not us. It's not the creators. It's some wonky IT crap that's going on and it's affecting a lot of people. So there was a uh, thing that came out last night on a slash gear.com last night or this morning, YouTube outage takes down home, the home screen shorts and subscriptions. And again, a lot of people were having these issues. So YouTube is technically considered the internet's, uh, well, not technically, maybe this is like a guess, but the most, the second most popular website, I don't know if TikTok is number one or Pornhub, honestly, I don't know which one's number one, but the internet's second most popular website is experiencing a partial outage. This is from last night that at best has taken down the platform's subscriptions feed. So again, people have been having issues, not getting um, notifications, not seeing videos that are going up. But last night there was like a whole thing where more people noticed it, right? Users who attempt to view the feed, which contains videos from channels they subscribe to report experiencing one of a few different issues. The most common of which appears to be a message stating that their watch history has been disabled. Meaning if you try to go back through and see what you've looked at, it's like blank. It's, it's showing you haven't looked at anything. And that's an issue too. A lot of people watch things and hold them in their watch history and for reasons to go back and watch them later or because they need them to help fix something. A lot of things on YouTube are how to's like how to fix a garbage disposal that's gone wonky, how to change a tire, how to tie a tie, how to make baked chicken, how to, you know, make hot tea, random things like that. And when those things are gone from your watch history and then YouTube is screwing around and not letting you search for things or pull up videos and hit play, it can wreak havoc for a lot of different people. Right. And it wasn't just on, um, 
phones and computers, th this is what was happening for people who were trying to go and watch things. It was saying your watch history is off and people were thinking something was wrong. Nope. It's just YouTube doing YouTube things, which is the best part of it, right? So not only that, you had that going on. Then you had here, um, my mom sent the thing about uh, not letting her comment. So Team YouTube posted on YouTube itself, it looks like. Thanks to everyone who sent notes about error messages and loading issues while trying to access their YouTube app. This has now been fixed. Let us know if you're still having that problem. This was sent out last night at 1018 or they posted it at 1018 PM. I'm guessing Eastern standard time, but I have no clue uh, because a lot of people were having a lot of issues. You guys can see here. This is from, and I'm pretty sure, I don't think this is Twitter. Maybe this is Instagram. I don't even know what this is from. Kevin sent this to me earlier and I don't know what platform that was on. Maybe it was on YouTube itself, but I'm not a hundred percent positive where that was from. Then on top of all of that, our friend T, you guys have met him over here before Tiano. He actually has his own YouTube channel now, right? And Kevin asked him earlier today, he's like, Hey, you should go live. Have you gone live yet? And he gets this, this picture. Hold on. Let me try to pull it up here so I can show it to you. I told him to screenshot it and send it to me so I could show it to you guys. Where is it? Bear with me. Hold on. It's here. Oh, here it is. Okay. So he sends me this because I asked him, I was like, Hey, what's going on? According to this, let me see if I can show you guys this, what all's going on here. Yeah. So this is what was on his phone when he tried to go live. This is new. Okay. It says to go live almost there. Try creating more shorts to reach 50 subscribers and unlock streaming, unlock live streaming. It didn't used to be that way. It used to be you had your channel and after 24 hours, you could go live, right? You, you tried it and they would say, okay, give us 24 hours. Let's make sure that, um, that this is a real account and whatever else. And then you could go live. Well now, and Tiano's account is not new. He's had this forever, but now in order to go live on YouTube, they want you to have at least 50 subscribers, which didn't used to be a thing. But what's interesting is now they say, try creating more shorts to reach 50 subscribers because they know they're pushing shorts so hard. They know that shorts will bring in more subscribers than a long form video. And they really want people doing shorts because they want everybody's attention span to be that of a toddler, right? So in order to go live, he has to get 50 subscribers. I think he's got like 17 or whatnot. And when I went live, I never had to have 50 subscribers. When I first started my channel two years ago, I didn't need 50 subs to go live. When I started 2.0, I didn't need 50 subs to go live. So maybe some people, but I never needed to have a specific amount of subs. I had to have 24 hours before I tried to go live before it would let me go live. So that's a new thing they're doing. Also, we've worked with enough creators who have enough channels to know that that's definitely not normal and not something we have seen before. So the other thing is, that I wanted to talk to you guys about because when YouTube starts going wonky, like I said, it affects the creators, but it affects you guys as well, the viewers, and it makes you want to go to different apps, right? You're like, well, screw this. If I can't see who I want on YouTube, I'll go over to TikTok, Instagram, um, Facebook, whatever, Rumble, possibly, maybe. I don't know, really know anybody who uses that. But the fact of the matter is every time they have another issue, it makes creators want to go, I don't know if this is worth putting my time and all this effort into. If every single time I put something up, you're going to make it so that, you know, I can't get subscriptions. I can't get likes. The views aren't going out. The video I put up on, on here yesterday on 2.0 yesterday has the least amount of views out of like any video I've put up on the channel, which is very weird. Like that's not normal. Um, and I was like, what is going on? And at the exact same time as when YouTube was like, oh, there's issues with subscriptions and, and notifications and likes and everything along those lines. Now we've had a lot of fake comments and bots as well. So people need to be very aware of that. I keep getting ones. Um, and I, you can always generally tell when it's a fake comment or a bot because of the way they phrase thing. The, they'll say like this channel instead of, you know, Squirrel Tribe or Michelle or whatever. It's always this channel, blah, 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 blah. Or it, they pull out something really stupid to talk about that's very troll like and could really go anywhere for anybody. Like it could work on anybody's channel. And I'm mentioning this for you guys in the comments. So when you as viewers are looking at stuff and you see certain things, just know that there's a lot of bots out there, a lot of really um, 
stupid people out there at the same time, but there are companies paying people to go out there and make fake comments. So for creators, a lot of times you're going to see now that more creators are not replying to comments because they don't know which ones are real or which ones aren't. I think that's why a lot of creators are like, Hey, join my memberships or, or whatever else so that they know that who they are replying to are real people instead of bots. So that's another big issue for a lot of people. Also this thing on Reddit, um, was, this is what my mom saw. So this is exactly what her her response was when she tried to comment. I don't know if y'all can read that, the, the thing on Reddit there. It says, resource has been exhausted, e.g. check quota. And again, that's because that's new. I've seen numerous times where YouTube has kind of gone into the shitter, but I've never seen that pop up before when people couldn't comment. It was just very interesting. So new, new issues with um, YouTube. And then, hold on. You've got YouTube cracking down on ad blocking apps. A lot of people have ad blockers. And so YouTube is trying to make it so you can't use ad blockers. If you're not using YouTube premium, you're going to have to sit to the ads. YouTube premium is not cheap. It used to be cheaper. Now I think it's like $11.99 or $14.99. I'm not exactly sure which one. <laughs> it's one of the two. Um, and if you have, uh, if you want um, premium for an entire family, it's more like $25.99. That way, you can have it up to four people on all your devices. We have YouTube premium for the family. So the kid can watch stuff and not get ads. I don't get ads. Kevin doesn't get ads and uh, things like that. But if you don't have it, you're pretty much relegated to ads. When we watch YouTube on TV, oh, Susan said $18.99. I don't, all I know is everything is getting more expensive. Netflix has gone through the roof. It's like $24.99 now for four different accounts to use it when it used to be like $9.99. Everything is getting so expensive when it comes to these apps and everything. And then we got on, what were we on yesterday? Prime. We have Amazon Prime because we like to watch um, Top Gear and things like that with Jeremy Clarkson and uh, James May and look, I'm going to forget his name, Richard Hammond. We like to watch those kind of things. So we have Amazon Prime. And now even on Prime, you're paying this monthly subscription and then you get in there and like, oh, you want to watch this movie? You can rent it or buy it. Why am I paying you a monthly subscription to still need to pay you more? People are getting so money hungry out there. It's absolutely freaking ridiculous. But this YouTube cracks down on ad blocking apps is a huge deal. Also, people out there are getting these apps. I don't know if you have to pay for the extra ad blocking apps or not, um, but those are being cracked down on. And if you have them, I don't know if it affects your channel. I just know that you're still going to be stuck watching ads, which nobody wants the ads. Honestly, we watch them on TV because we don't sign in on TV. We just go in as guests. But I did notice, which I thought was cool, at least YouTube has done something correct in the last uh, week or two. When we jump on TV now, like we go there to watch Kara and Nate and some other stuff. It now says when you, when you jump into somebody's account that you can, it says play mix. So it'll play like a whole mix of videos of theirs that, they, that YouTube thinks you would enjoy. It'll let you subscribe now from the TV and it'll let you join their memberships from the TV. I don't know if you can comment yet. I haven't seen a way to comment yet on the TV on a video. So I don't think that's the case. Um, somebody said, I just saw it. I went away. Something about does YouTube premium cover TV, YouTube TV. It doesn't. That's a whole different shebang. My friend Lewis and his wife, Tristan in Tennessee, they got rid of their cable, their regular cable, and they signed up for YouTube TV. I think they said it's $75 a month and they get all the same things they were paying like $150 for with whoever they had here in Florida. We've got Cox Mobile, COX, not like a cockadoodle do, but COX Mobile uh, or COX and streaming. I don't know what the hell it's called. We have that, um, you know, you've got Charter, you've got DirecTV, you've got whoever else is out there. I can't think of any of it. Kevin normally signs up for all that stuff, but um, YouTube TV was definitely cheaper. We got rid of cable here a month or two ago because between just y'all, just cable, just cable and internet, they wanted almost $300 a month. And I was like, are you effing kidding me? Not doing this anymore. And to get rid of cable, <coughs> excuse me, saves us like $150 a month in theory, but we do still pay for, let me go lie. We pay for a lot of stupid shit. We pay for Netflix, Amazon prime. We canceled HBO max. We have Paramount, but Hulu and Disney Plus and ESPN are all under one. So we've got that. 
So we're still paying roughly, I would say, for the fastest internet we can get, plus all the streaming services that we have. We're about $200 a month for everything. But it works. It's what we use, so it makes sense, and I'm okay with it. But YouTube TV for $75 a month on top of all that, and then you still have to, I think, pay to get YouTube movies, I can't bring myself to do it. Not right now. Maybe in the future something will change, but with the way that YouTube keeps effing things up, I can't bring myself to give more money to, to the platform for them. And I mean, that's just me. Um, what is this? Okay. So this is, I'm just going to read this to you. For those of you who were curious what happened yesterday it says starting around 6 30 PM PT. What is that Pacific time? So that's Cali, right? So 6 30 Pacific would have been 7 30 mountain, 8 30 central, 9 30 Eastern standard time. You got to go left to right. That's the only way I know how to do it. Uh, YouTube, has started to experience a partial but widespread outage, which among other things has broken the subscriptions feed. They broke the internet. Basically, uh, users checking their subscriptions are unable to see any videos with the app reporting back as if the account subscribes to no channels. Other parts of the YouTube experience that appear to be broken include watch later and other custom playlists. We're seeing this happen across multiple devices and accounts and users on Reddit, as well as on down detector also report this happening. Meanwhile, YouTube TV is also experiencing similar outages. So again, you're paying $75 or more a month for YouTube TV. And for them to have the same issues, I'd be a little pissed, especially when there's no storms around, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Um, portions of the library, such as new for you are unable to load content for some users, while others report that custom channel layouts are no longer working properly. These issues appear to be happening across all platforms, but are varying somewhat from user to user. Video playback is not affected on YouTube and YouTube TV. YouTube has thus far not acknowledged the outage. Now this was again, 6.30 PM Pacific time, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. They seem to have got everything under control since then. I went live earlier today on Squirrel Tribe and that seemed to have gotten pushed out and, and worked just fine. This live stream, we'll see what happens. I'm not quite sure. Um, I do know that a lot of content creators were a little pissy last night, if you will, over the fact that numbers were messed up. We, have, we see it happen all the time and it can be very frustrating on this end of the screen or of the app or whatever else. Now, you also have this, um, let's see if I can get this. Vietnam shadowy farms. I don't know if I've got this link here. Hold on. I'm trying to put, pull this up. So look at this photographer steps inside Vietnam's shadowy click farms. I want y'all to see this. If I can get this to pop up correctly with the picture, can you see this kid at a computer and all these like computer bank things all around him? This is like how they work on the bots in the comment section. Like I said, people are paid to literally go to other people's channels and their videos and, and stuff and just try to wreak havoc, if you will, in the comment section. According to this, um, last year, a British photographer spent a month in the capital Hanoi documenting some of the shadowy enterprises that help clients artificially boost online traffic and social media engagement in the hope of manipulating algorithms and user perceptions. The resulting images, um, there's a new book this guy came out with, um, show that l they hire low paid workers to cultivate likes, comments, and shares for businesses and individuals globally. When most people are on social media, they want nothing but attention. They're begging for it. I don't think I've ever begged. I mean, I like a little bit of attention, but I ain't going to beg for it. Uh, with social media, our attention is a product for advertisers and marketers. Look at this thing. I mean, this is how they stay connected. Just that's a whole lot of computer power right there, all based on trying to figure out what the algorithm is to manipulate it, to convince people to like a video. Like, think about it this way. How often have you been on YouTube or Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whatever the crap else is out there and you're scrolling and you're like, why is this video being shown to me? You have no clue why you're seeing it, but you randomly click on it and it's got millions of views, thousands of likes, tons of comments, all this other stuff. And you're thinking to yourself, how sometimes it's not real. Sometimes it is literally generated because people have paid for it to look a certain way. There are plenty of content creators out there who are not getting the views and the, the reach that they deserve because there's too many bots out there basically flooding 
social media with crap that doesn't matter and that is just absolutely stupid and fake and paid for. So I don't even know. All I know is that uh, YouTube and I, I, I enjoy being here for you guys. I don't love, I don't love the platform for the platform itself. I don't love the comment section sometimes. Uh, I love you guys, but I don't, there's a lot of stuff y'all don't get to see that goes on behind the scenes that gets just overwhelming and annoying and daunting sometimes. And anytime there's an issue, it's, it's a whole lot of, whole lot of to do. So I just wanted to bring that up to you because I feel like you're going to see more and more this kind of thing happening with YouTube trying to, I don't want to say like silence certain kinds of channels, but I do feel like there is definitely more push on certain styles over others. I'm never going to get over here on 2.0. I'm never going to get a YouTube push because I'm not trying on clothes and showing things off. I'm not wearing see-through anything. I'm not buying all the latest trends off TikTok and telling you how great they are. I'm not editing the shit out of my videos. I'm not traveling and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to, you know, do the most elaborate trip to Dubai or whatever else. So I'm not going to be what YouTube wants the masses to see because they want the stuff out there that's more of a... I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm not even gonna lie, I know sometimes my stuff is like the mind numbing stuff where you don't really have to use brain cells to pay attention to me. I'm fully aware of that because sometimes I just run my mouth and it's funny and it's not on purpose, but sometimes I don't wanna talk about things that are, um, make, make your brain work, you know what I mean? So, you would think those videos would get pushed, but YouTube, I feel like, really wants people watching the cats chasing their tails or the dogs running into the sides of fences or the girls doing, you know, naked flips or just that kind of stuff. And that's not really, it's not really my thing. So I'm never gonna be the next, um, what's your name? Hope Scope or Mr. Beast or Ryan Trahan or any of those kind of people because I don't, I don't put that kind of effort. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't put that kind of effort. I just wanna, talk and get whatever's in my mind out through my mouth and if you guys like it yay if not that's also okay we're not all gonna be for each other miss jackson call me old-fashioned but i just like down-to-earth real people thank you ma'am hopefully y'all know that i'm like real down-to-earth i don't know i don't know if i'm down to earth sometimes i can be uppity i'm sure but i don't know how to be any more real than i am uh and I don't know how to be fake. So we're in this weird limbo here on YouTube where it's either be as fake as you can possibly be or be so incredibly real that it's like, are you sure you're real? And you're so real that you're fake. Like, I don't really know what to do with a lot of channels on YouTube. But the more YouTube has these issues, because we, we've had these discussions numerous times, numerous times where it's like, I don't know if my videos are going out. Something's not working. It's showing that there's no views in the last 24 hours. It is so frustrating. I guarantee you, this is my guess. This is my assumption, my guess. At some point to be a creator on YouTube, they're going to make us as creators pay to be on YouTube. They're going to turn it into some sort of, we have to pay to be on the platform in order to earn money from the platform. And I feel like that's what is going to happen next because they know that creators, especially monetized ones, creators rely on the the um the money that comes in a lot of times from from being monetized on youtube from super chats from all those things from the the ability to make these connections and whatever else a lot of youtube is used as business for a lot of companies and things like that and i feel like youtube right now is pushing they really want businesses on youtube and i feel like the more they get what they want soon they're going to realize that one people are addicted to social media right and that, the, that not only do the, the viewers want this stuff, but the content creators, it's kind of um, like for me, for me, it is hard for me to go an entire day without having a video either here or on Squirrel Tribe, not because of a paycheck that comes with it, but because this, this is, it's part of me now. You know what I mean? Like talking to you guys is part of me. Having these conversations is part of my daily life. And when it doesn't happen, it feels like something didn't get done or I didn't get to see people. I don't know if that makes sense or, or sounds however it sounds, but when I'm not here with you guys, it feels like some part of my day is missing. And I think that the platform knows that 
and they're banking on that for a lot of people. And I feel like there's going to be a charge at some point for creators to be able to have a YouTube channel. It's not going to be a free for all. Anybody can start one. It used to be everybody and their mama could have a YouTube channel, which is still the case. Once you hit, you know, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you were monetized. Well, now that's different. They've changed the parameters to get monetized. And now they really look at you differently to decide if you're going to get monetized or not. Then they look at each individual video and say, Hey, listen, you said some words we don't like, so we're not going to pay you on this video, or it's going to be lower pay, or you wore something we didn't like, so we're going to uh, age restrict this, or you talked about a topic that we don't think people should hear about, so we're going to age restrict this. YouTube has become a very censored place through YouTube itself for content creators. And it's very hard for content creators who don't want to be censored to continue to upload on a platform where you never know from today till next month, if they're going to just take your stuff away, if they're going to keep it going or, or whatever else. So I don't plan on going anywhere. I'm just putting that out there for you guys. I plan on going absolutely nowhere. If one day you wake up and you can't find my channel, it wasn't me that was on YouTube. They took me away, but I don't think that will happen. Um, if they say that we have to pay to be on the platform, depending on the price, I'm going to pay to be on the platform because I love you guys. And I don't want to give up my YouTube family, you know, but if they're like, Hey, it's a hundred dollars a month, man, it's been nice. We've got to start emailing each other. <laughs> you better jump over on Instagram or Patreon or something. Cause that's not happening, you know? So that's it. I just want to give you guys a heads up or kind of a it's not really heads up because this happened yesterday, but more of an explanation of what was going on. Cause I know a lot of you are probably having issues with what was going on on YouTube and not being able to see videos and, and leave comments and subscribe like you normally would. But there's going to be, like I said, there's going to be more issues with YouTube than less issues over time. I can almost guarantee it. Um, my screen is frozen over here. There we are. Um, I hope really you guys are doing good in the comments over here. I didn't get to see a whole bunch of stuff. I know my husband actually had a live stream earlier and I missed it. I was reading a book. I started a new book. Oh, it's over there. I started a new book because I finished my Nicholas Sparks two by two, which is still probably one of the best books I've ever read. Um, I'm reading a new one now, but it's more like a suspense mystery by somebody. I can't remember the name of, I'll show you guys in tomorrow's video. And then we're going to do tomorrow. Side note tomorrow. I do have some stuff to open that I picked up at UPS. We're going to do some more Hervé Lucindy stuff. Um, but tonight, because I still have to cook and your girl is tired. <laughs> we're not y'all. I look tired. I look like a bag of shit. Like there's no makeup. I need to wash my face. My hair's dirty. We just, it's just all of it. Um, so who is this practical civilian? My YouTube channels were all wonky this morning. Yeah. I, the problem with me is I don't watch YouTube the way a creator should. I don't really watch it. Um, so I, I didn't notice anything was wrong until people were emailing me or, you know, my mom was sending the text about, uh, the email, uh, the, the not being able to like the video and comment and stuff. So I didn't, I didn't really notice you. I got to pay more attention personally for myself to make sure what's going to going on, what's happening here. Um, I purpose going to YouTube thumbs down. Okay. So the ice machine is losing its mind. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. I told the man, this is going to be a, a short live stream. Him and the, the kid, my daughter, they left to go hang out at the clubhouse while I did this, but I got to cook dinner, drink some more hot tea, maybe because, <laughs> you know, or just go to bed early, maybe take a shower. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys go for now. Thank you for hanging out with me for just a little bit. I appreciate you. Hopefully this answers some questions for people on what was going on with YouTube yesterday. If they had an issue last night, I can guarantee there'll be some other small issue coming up in the next couple of days. It's normally one followed by another. Um, and if I see anything, I'll give you guys a heads up on it. But I will be back tomorrow with a video if you guys want to check that out with some, some stuff and a couple things I want to talk to you about. But I love you all immensely. Have a fabulous rest of your hump day, my dudes, because I'm pretty sure it's still Wednesday, right? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's still Wednesday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.